Hey guys, what's up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 222 of Constructing Los Angeles. How's everybody doing? We are back on the city today, ready to continue to make some progress. Today I'm going to be doing another post-commentary episode, 10 minutes on the clock, and you guys are going to watch me do some building in the background today on the Tinsel Tower. So, speaking of the build, I'm going to be working on the Tinsel Tower, like I said. I'm going to be working on the roof today, just kind of getting all that stuff put in, That similar to what I had on the Eclipse Tower. I kind of fly back and forth and uh, get all that, you know, generators and, you know, all those, like, units that you find on the roof of the skyscrapers. So I got all those put in. I even added the ladders that go up from the first level of the skyscraper all the way up to the roof, so you can actually access that for maintenance and things like that. So I put that in today, and then once I was finished with that, I went ahead and worked on the lobby of the Tindal Tower, so I kind of added some walls to it, uh, kind of just made everything look nice and fancy, added a new floor, put in some chandeliers, things like that. And then last but not least, I also filled in the walls on the first level of the floor plan that we finished up last episode with. And then I just started to, you know, get an idea of what I want to do for the rooms in terms of furnishing them. I think I furnished like one room at the end, but... Uh, that's kind of like the plan of what I'm working on today, so you guys can sit right back, relax for a little bit, and grab your popcorn, it's, uh, and watch me build for like nine minutes while I ramble at your faces. So, anyway, uh, today I have a bunch of questions of the day to answer. I actually grabbed three of them uh, from the last video of CLD's comments. I uh, just wanted to answer a bunch of them during the video because I, uh, you know, I'm not distracted by my building, so. Um, I'll answer these today as we go along and I'll talk about some other topics as well, but I'm going to jump right into the question of the day to start this video. So the first question of the day comes from Squirreltastic Gamer, and the question is, this is irrelevant to CLD, but anyways, my question is, how do you record Tyler's voice and will you ever make a video about how to record videos? So, um, I'll answer both parts of this question right now, uh, obviously for Tyler's voice, I do this in a bunch of different ways. It depends on what I am doing or what kind of video I'm recording. So if Tyler and I are playing on Xbox One, for example, Survival Island, uh, the way I do it is we're in a Skype call and I just simply record his voice with a Skype recorder software. Uh, that's how I do it for Xbox. And then when we're playing on PC, it's a lot easier because I can just simply record the audio of my desktop. So. Uh, if we're ever playing Minecraft, you know, Tyler's voice will pick up in my recording software, so I don't really have to do anything extra steps. So it's pretty easy. As far as me making a video on how to record videos, uh, I probably wouldn't do that just because that's not really what my channel's about. Uh, I'm more of like, you know, obviously doing building and creating things is more than doing like tutorials and that kind of stuff. So I'm sure there's thousands of videos out there that would teach you how to do stuff like that, but um, it's really not that hard once you get used to it. You just kind of have the right software and things like that. And for PC recording, uh, you can. There's a bunch of stuff you can use. You can use like Fraps or like OBS or XSplit or anything. Any kind of those softwares work great. Um, and then for recording Skype, I just use like a little MP3 Skype recorder. I just found it on the internet, so um, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Uh, but I would just recommend looking up some tutorials on it because that's not really the kind of video that I'm willing to do. So. Uh, thank you very much for the question anyway, and we still have two more questions to answer, so. So the next question comes from James Blonde 6 almost James Bond, not quite, James Blonde, and the question is, what would you recommend the width of the roads in the city would be, including markings and all? Also, what color would you recommend? I'm just starting a city, and I was wondering. So, uh, this is pretty, uh, relevant to, like, most of you, I would imagine. Um, as far as, uh, width for roads in the city, I would suggest something very similar to Los Angeles. So I have kind of, I think it's like 12 across or maybe 11 across. Uh, basically what you wanna do is start in the middle with the uh, divider line. So you can do like three blocks of gold and then jump three and then do three more blocks of gold. And then in the middle of that, you can fill it in with gray wool or something like that. And then have uh, go five across from each side of that. Um, I mean, just basically just copy what I have on the roads in Los Angeles. I think that's a pretty universal width for roads in Minecraft. It's not too big, not too small. Uh, as far as blocks are concerned, in terms of what colors you would use, I recommend gray wool for the city texture pack and the default, and those are really the only two texture packs I use. Uh, if you're using like the natural texture pack, I'd probably go with black wool, and even if you're using the default, um, I would also recommend coal even for the roads, like blocks of coal. As far as the divider lines, I would go with gold blocks, pretty much any texture pack. Um, you can use yellow wool if you want, but I think gold looks a little bit better, so... Uh, that would be my recommendation in terms of colors uh, and like the width of the roads. Just 
do what Los Angeles has done. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, it's it's really up to you though, depending on how big you want to scale your city, because uh, my road it really depends on what road you're kind of doing. If you're doing just like a basic road in a neighborhood, you don't really need the divider lines, honestly. If you're doing a road in the city, you might need them. If you're doing a highway, you might need multiple lanes. So it really depends on you know what kind of road you're building. I'd recommend just going on Google or something like that. And if you want to build like a highway, just type in highway on Google and see what you can find. And that'll give you some good inspiration for ha figuring out what width you need to put for your roads. But that would be my suggestion. Um, if you're doing like basic roads, I mean, there's there's different kinds of roads throughout Los Angeles that you can reference. Um, I, I have highways, you know, small roads, big roads. So, you know, there's a bunch of stuff you can get inspiration from. So thank you very much for that question, James Blonde 6 And we still have one more question to answer. So the third and final question for today's video comes from Nazar Nasir. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. If I didn't, I apologize. And the question is, what is the biggest issue you hate to face when building something? So um, that's a good question. I would probably give my short answer and that would be finding the time to build something. Um, you know, for me at least when I build, I, I kind of get into like a rhythm. Uh, when I only build for like 30 minutes at a time, it's hard for me to get a lot of stuff done, like especially for like CLD videos. So it is nice to make videos like this when I can build for like an hour and a half on something. Just uh, you know, think about purely what I'm building instead of having to focus on other things. And that really helps me out. I would say definitely my biggest issue is finding the time to really sit down and work on something for like three, four hours straight and just really get into a good rhythm. Because I know for a fact on some of my biggest builds I've ever done, I've worked on them for like six hours straight like at points. So. Like the Alpine Mansion, I'm pretty sure I worked on that like six hours straight. I know for a fact that I worked on the stadium for like 10 hours straight at one point. I was working on it for like the whole day. I just like, the thing about Minecraft is I'm kind of like a procrastinator. So like once I get started with something, I like just, I just grind it out. It's the same thing with like school. Like for example, I like procrastinate on like a paper or something like that. But like once I finally get started on it, I just like mow through that thing like super quick. Um, I just get into a real good rhythm. So it's kind of the same thing with building, which is a little weird, but it is what it is. I mean, I... Once I kind of get into a role, I can really work on something to get stuff done pretty fast. But that's kind of like the thing that I have an issue with is trying to uh, find that time, you know, because building takes a lot of time. And as far as like, you know, issues with inspiration, I don't really get those issues very often. I usually have some, usually have a lot of inspiration for stuff. Um, it's really just about finding the time for me. But uh, another very good question. Thank you, guys, thank you guys very much for the three questions for today. Um, and another thing I'm having issues with in terms of time is I just can't stop playing other games right now. I'm just, I'm struggling guys. It is, it's not good. It's that time of year. I, I've been playing Black Ops 3 with my friends for the last couple of days and I'm addicted. I, I hate to say it, but I am addicted to that game right now. It's not good because I have been neglecting the Minecraft because of it, but, um, I still play a lot of Minecraft. I just got to balance my time between the games because I'm just getting addicted to one game. And then even worse, Fallout 4 comes out like really soon. I think it comes out tomorrow. I'm not going to get it right away, but I'm probably going to get it like within like a week or so of it coming out. And then I'm going to be playing that too. So I'm going to be just swamped with a bunch of different games to play Minecraft, Black Ops 3, Fallout. And then we're going to play Star Wars as well. Probably not going to, I'm probably waiting until like the winter break to get that because I'm just not going to have enough time. Uh, but I want to play like all of those games, which is going to be really fun. And then speaking of other games, we have backwards compatibility coming to the Xbox One pretty soon. I would like to mention that real quick before we conclude today's video. Um, they released like the original or the initial list for the games that are going to be released on Xbox One from Xbox 360 backwards compatibility and uh, nothing too crazy for me. I, I didn't really see any games on the list that I own personally. Uh, I think like Pac-Man was like the only one on there that I actually have. So uh, hopefully they release some more games in the future, but I think that's a cool feature. I just hope they release more games. I hope they release games like Skyrim. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, some of the older Call of Duties like Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2 or so, so old, those really old games that are just so fun to play still. That would be really awesome to be able to play those on the next gen console just like so I don't have to, uh, I can just come on 360 like solely for CLD, you know what I mean? So um, it's pretty cool that they have that. Hopefully they release some more cool games for it soon. But that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today, guys. Answered some questions today. Answered three questions today for you guys. Uh, that's kind of an anomaly. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of CLD. I did a bunch of work on the Eclipse Tower. Or not the Eclipse Tower. We already have that done. I'm talking about the Tinsel Tower. I did a bunch of work on that. I get those mixed up because they're pretty much the same build, just ones on a smaller scale. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Leave your question of the day submissions in the comment section below or send them to me on Twitter. Either way, I will search through all of that stuff. 
try to find one to answer for next episode. We'll be back to the regular edition of CLD next time for 222, which is a normal 20, 25 minute video of me recording live. And I will see you guys then. Thank you guys very much for watching. It's been Dan Lags. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.